I've got a bit of a penchant for Mr. Nostradamus. I'd rather read the stars and read a fucking vampire drama. I'm Chance Waters at the Big Day Out with the AU Review. How are you? Oh, I'm great. I'm uh, hot. I'm <laughs> sweating, but yeah, in really good spirits. It's been awesome. Have you already performed? Yes, I have. That's only a quarter of why I'm sweaty, though. It's pretty hot. <laughs> no, I just got off stage like 45 minutes ago, and um, so I'm still kind of cooling down. But yeah, it was incredible. Best show I think I've ever played. Biggest crowd? Yeah, definitely. I think there are maybe about a thousand people there, wow. which is a lot more than I usually get to my my gigs. And uh, yeah, they're response was what really surprised me I, I kind of expected that number of people but I didn't expect them to know all the words especially to songs from back albums and things that you know I wouldn't expect anyone to know the energy of that I mean when it comes to the heat of the of the stage and the heat of the crowd you know how do how do you kind of cope with that in that environment you know because you've got a high such a high energy stage show yeah well this this time because I like to jump around a bit in sort of key songs and this time I was sort of Every time I go to jump, I, my you know my body was going, don't do it, don't do it to yourself. But I uh, I did it. Yeah, I don't know. I need to start doing cardio. But in terms of the in terms of the actual vibe, I mean, I love it. I really, if the crowd's into it, then I'm more into it. I've played a few shows, you know, particularly years ago where the crowds didn't really know who I was, and you know they weren't there to see me. So it was a bit disheartening. But when the vibe is there, and when the energy is there, and when people know the words, I just yeah, I love it. And you've had a couple of singles, of course, that have had quite a bit of Triple J success. And, I mean, that's got to feel pretty nice, you know. Yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. I mean, it's a huge change because I spent a very long time both under my other moniker and even some time as Chance Waters where I wasn't really getting a lot of radio play. It was really, you know, guys like you that were paying attention and doing the write-ups and stuff. So, yeah, it's fantastic to finally have some proper exposure and be able to do all these other things I've always wanted to do mm. that I've seen other bands my age doing. So yeah, this today is a bucket list moment and there's a heap that I've been working towards. So yeah, it's really great. Last year ended on such a high note and obviously the other day we found out how well he did on the uh, on the Rage Top 50, number seven from memory. Well, yeah, what the hell? How about that? Yeah, well, I didn't expect it at all. I was overseas during that whole Rage thing. I'd gone in and they asked me kind of earlier in the year to come in and do a Vox Pop about it and just give a little shout out and stuff. And at the time I, I was like, oh, well, I'm not going to get in, but I'll come and do this. You know, it's great exposure. And then, yeah, number seven, which, yeah, uh, I didn't believe it. When somebody told me, I thought they'd gotten it wrong. And, <laughs> and then I saw it. So, yeah, it was great. Well, when it comes to betting for the hottest 100, you know, are you, are you, does that make you feel a little more confident that you're going to see some, some songs on that? I don't know. I think they're very different. They're very different competitions. There's obviously a much smaller voting number in the Rage thing. And I think if you have a really committed fan base who care about you enough to vote in things, then you tend to dominate those smaller competitions. So it'll be interesting to see. I think we've had enough radio support that we could scrape through yeah. I don't know if I'm big enough to scrape through I, I'm, I'm really really hopeful we'll get one in but I, 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 I would be very surprised if you didn't oh well thank you I, I, I you're more confident than me that's good <laughs> what's next for you this year uh, well I'm making the new album we've got 10 of the tracks pre-produced so we have the beats and we're kind of finding the features at the moment and I'm writing I've written the next single I'm making a video clip for the next single, which is going to be Conjure Up a Fire. That's sort of the last single from this album. And yeah, I guess touring. I've got 35 dates before the start of June. I've got to do the actual album tour. So it's going to be busy. It's going to be the most busy year of my life, but it should be amazing. Well, it's been what you've been working for for so long. So to get to that point, it must, it, it must be, you know. Exactly. It's great. Really? And it's, it's very necessary. You really need to... I think the main thing that stops bands that get the kind of exposure that I'm getting at the moment is that they don't put in the, the hard yards yeah. when it's still a bit tougher, you know, when you're not making a lot of money off of the shows and things. And so that's always been my, uh, my approach is just to get in there and go as hard as you can the whole time. So that's what this year is about.